decided to study oceans and lakes uh, because of its interdisciplinary nature. It cuts into the boundaries of the, of the physical, of the chemical, geological, and some social aspects. And apart from that, it introduced uh, students to some ways of governance. So a student uh, at the end, they become not only the researchers, they also become the leaders to their countries. I chose to study this program because it was actually recommended to me by my previous supervisor. Uh, he thought that uh, it would be something I would be interested in uh, and he was very right. I came from a straight cut geology background, a very academic context and this program provides a much more multidisciplinary approach. I came to Belgium because um, at, at that time around 2003 it was quite difficult to get uh, scholarships abroad and the Ekomama scholarship, the Vlier scholarship was the most appealing at that time. Anybody who can say uh, Eko Mama changed her life, it's myself. Because I was a forester at the beginning, so I majored in land. But when I came to Belgium, I moved into the sea. So it has changed my life and changed my profession as a whole. Spending um, two, two years here in, in Belgium, uh, I think I feel um, more uh, confidence uh, in working with like a for, um, foreign organizations uh, as well. I really enjoy the, the international environment, especially because when we come from a, a far country, you need this environment and you learn from a lot of cultures. Training in school would really train me well when I go back home. So because when I went back, I was assigned to do uh, to focus on the wetlands and caves and karst areas and we had to deal with a lot of stakeholders so we had to do a lot of meetings, information campaigns, so I had to do a lot of talking. So that training with Ecomama really helped. fully realize that uh, all the ocean challenges and opportunities cannot be tackled by one country alone and we have to collaborate internationally and that's uh, why we think networks like these are very important because they are long-standing networks. You create also a new network from your uh, previous uh, classmate and it can open opportunity for um, uh, other studies. Uh, it's, it's very valuable. We are implementing a project in Kenya with my promoters, so the networking with my promoters and also is still there. Belgium, because of the experience they have to come in and uh, collaborate with us, and we're hoping that the future will be very bright for Kenyans. I have been professionals, I have become professionals, I have become researchers that link up with one another also on the basis of the network that programs have uh, been uh, involved to. And uh, linking up means also uh, publishing together or submitting joint proposals, um, sharing ideas, um, tackling problems uh, from each other angle, from intercultural backgrounds. I am lucky that I have this job before I even finish my master's. Good luck comes to those whose minds are prepared. Happy birthday, Zero!